it's all over the news. Iris is going after property owners who bought their properties using a 99-1 structure to avoid taxes. This will be a painful exercise for everyone involved over the next few weeks and months. But isn't tax avoidance legal? How is that different from tax evasion? Well, tax evasion is an illegal way of not paying your taxes. Examples include using fake receipts to reduce your taxable income, or simply underdeclaring your income. Tax avoidance, on the other hand, is a way of reducing your tax burden legally, for example, setting up a company to bill your customers to lower your income tax. Since tax avoidance is legal, why is IRAs going after those who are avoiding taxes? If you have done the 991 structure, should you be concerned? Stay tuned to find out more. What I'm about to share with you is not financial or taxation advice. This is purely edutainment. Now, there are two kinds of 991 structures. The first structure works this way. Tom and Mary bought a condo as their first property. Tom takes 99% share and Mary takes 1% share. The reason for doing so is so that in the future, when they want to get a second property, Mary will sell her 1% share to Tom, and she will be free to buy her next property without incurring ABSD. And Tom only needs to pay buyer's stamp duty on the 1%. This is not the structure that Iris is now probing. The structure that Iris is probing works this way. Tom wants to buy a condo unit. But he already owns another condo unit. To avoid ABSD of 17% for his second property, he buys it under his son's name. Unfortunately, his son is still in university and has no income, and Tom cannot take a housing loan without having some ownership of the property. But if he takes 1% share at the onset, he would have to pay ABSD on the full purchase price, which defeats the purpose of buying under his son's name. To avoid the ABSD, Tom buys the property under his son in full, and shortly later, Tom buys 1% share from his son and pays ABSD plus SSD on the 1%. And Tom will be able to get a loan based on his income to pay for the condo. Seems like many buyers have bought their second or third properties this way without any issues for years until Iris started probing recently. Is this structure legal? In theory, the second structure works within the boundaries of the law. So why is Iris investigating? Here's something most people don't know. There are provisions in our tax law that allow IRAs to disregard tax avoidance structures and make taxpayers pay their tax liabilities in the absence of such structures. I've done some in-depth research on this and the findings were rather surprising. And I'm going to share these with you. Imagine you are a doctor who specializes in plastic surgery. You have been running a clinic as a sole proprietorship, and you decide to turn it into a private limited company for the sole purpose of tax savings. Great idea, isn't it? Apparently not so. Based on case studies provided by IRAs, if the only purpose of the incorporation is to avoid taxes, IRAs has the right to recompute taxes as if it had been run as a sole proprietorship. But, if the doctor incorporates the private limited company for valid commercial reasons, and tax savings is merely a byproduct of the arrangement, IRAs is more likely to accept such an arrangement without further questions. Interesting isn't it? So back to the 99-1 story, unless there's a valid reason for creating the 99-1 structure, other than for tax savings, it seems like IRAs has a legal claim on owners who went through this process. Tricky. Did you find what I've shared useful? Hit the like and subscribe button to hear real estate tips and insights from me. My name is Kate and I'll see you in my next video.